Yeah, I would expect 130 from this club. Bryson, watch out. When I hit them like that, then your problem is they're going 200 yards. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Firstly, thank you to everyone who's been watching. More importantly, thank you to everyone who's been commenting. I do sit like a sad man at night and I read all the comments and I try and reply to as many as possible. Today I thought we'd do a nice interesting video while I'm in the studio. Thought we'll do a what's in the bag. Well, not what's in the bag, my stock yardages. So I'm gonna go through nice and quick. I'm not gonna bore you, I'm not gonna talk through each shot. I might talk through a few. But we'll start off with all my wedges, go through every single club in the bag, and at the end we'll see exactly how far I hit every club. So I do get asked quite a bit, how far do you hit this? How far do you hit that? Nice simple video, my stock yardages. Let's go. First up, 60 degree. I don't ever really hit this club full, so this will be interesting. I would have guessed 80 yards. 90 yards, I'll hit two with each club. Maybe three actually, because to get a good reading, we're going to have to hit a few. So three good strikes. Looks like my 60 is 90 yards, which actually surprised me a little bit there. Right, next up, 56 degree wedge. Let's see how far this baby goes. Carried 98, 100, which isn't far off. Uh, oh yeah, 60, I'm just slightly worried. A bit better, 103. Maybe slightly better. Yeah, lovely, 105. All right, what have we got next? 52. I actually haven't done this for ages. That is a lovely shot. That is stopped. That's actually backspun. Carried 118. It's gone back to 117. I might be slightly right. It's all right though. Four yards right. 52 degrees. Looking at 113. Pretty bang on as well. Pretty bang on that. And lastly, a lot of people don't have four wedges because I had such a big gap in between that club and my pitching wedge. I got a 48 degree wedge instead of a four iron. Basically, I hate low irons. I got a 48 degree instead. Yeah, I would expect 130 from this club. Yeah, 128, 130. By the way, put in the comments, have you ever done this before? Have you ever actually done your yardages? Because if you're just starting off at golf, book in with your local pro. You can do this for a half an hour, 45 minutes, they might charge you 20, 30 quid. It's called a gap in session. I'm very lucky to have this in my house, but practice your yardages because when you get in a course and you're 130 yards from the flag, having that number in your head, knowing exactly what club to play, your handicap will fly down. You need to know your yardages. 48 degree wedge. Don't need any of that strikes with that, that was wicked. Yep, 130, little draw three to four yards left. So that's my wedges done. Right, so after that 48 degree there, hitting like, hits like 130. Again, 10 yards a club. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be hoping for about 135 to 140 from my uh, pitching wedge. Yeah, 140 to 143. If I was going for a flag with that wedge, it was three yards right. Hit the floor there. Still gone one, three, two. So we're all right. I think that's gone right, unless it draws. But again, it's only minimal. Seven yards right. Again, one, three, nine, one, four, three. Spot right. My nine, nine. Get my eight, nine out ready. This is where it's probably as important as in like pitching wedge has gone 140. So you'd be aiming. I'd want this nine, nine to be going 150. Pulled it, but. 60, Jesus. Strike, by the way, that. Wowza. So I thought this was going to go 150, but I'm absolutely crunching them 160. <laughs> I've hit the floor a little bit. 150, 157, so we'll leave that. That's three very good shots. And next up is the eight line. It looks like it's 10 yard gap to every club. So when you go for a club fitting, this is what they do. So you're not ever going to get a yardage where you go, oh, I haven't got a club for that. You need to work out your bag so you've got a club for every kind of yardage. 
That's a pull yeah, massively. But again, 168 is about right. I would expect my eight line about 170. That's better. Yeah, lovely shot. That's a bad shot. But again, you get the point, 170. It gets a bit tricky with me for this because I go from Apex Pros to the Apex. So because I've got a split combi bag, my six, seven, my five iron are more forgiving just to help me with them lower irons. Again, I don't really like lower irons, but my seven iron here. So we've got 170 odd there. I actually felt like a bit of a crap shot, but <laughs> yeah. It's literally gone right. The regular occurrence here you can see, as I'm getting into my, <laughs> my lower irons, my shot's getting worse. There we go, we're back. We're back. The only problem is it's carried 189, 197 in total. <laughs> like I said, my six, my five, six, and seven are the apex, so they're a little bit stronger lofted to give me that help. But when I hit them like that, the only problem is they're going 200 yards with the seven iron. Bryson, watch out. <laughs> no, I'm joking. This is probably more like a five iron. That's gone right. Okay, next up, six iron. Six iron's actually not a club I, I don't mind with six iron, weirdly. Where I played last year, there's a lot of short par fours, and I actually used my six iron off a few tees. I don't really hit it off the, the ground much, but I would expect, with these bit strung off the clubs, for this to be going about 200 yards. As we'll see. Yeah, 200 yards, 10 yards left. Good little fairway finder off the tee. Or, oh, into a long par four. That might be a bit right. I'm getting a bit tired now. Oh, not too bad, actually. 10 yards right, 200 yards. We only need one more of these. Oh, I am sweating. But again, still going 200 yards. So that's my six iron. My five iron might as well be brand new. If I got on a course, realistically, 210, 20, I'm going to hit my hybrid. What if I hit it like that? Nope, see, it's gone right. 226. It's got a, it has got a good distance on it, but like I said, for that yardage, if you've seen my other videos, I just use, I'll just use my, my hybrid. Caught that a bit heavy. 210, this is not really worth the hassle for me, to be honest with you. Not a bad shot, mate. 230. I'm actually realising a lot here. I actually might start using it a bit more. Right, so hybrid now should be going in the 230 category. Oh, that is the worst shot I've hit hybrid in a while, but it's actually worked out perfectly. That's why I love hybrid. How far has it gone? 238 off the friggin' heel. Might, that might be the same. I don't know going the other way. Similar yardage though, 239 that time. It was 238 the first time. So very similar yardage. That's a bit better. Nope, that was a massive 20 yard left. To be fair, 20, it looks bad on here, but that's 25 yards left off a tee. You'd actually still be in play. Right, I'm just going to take 20 seconds. Next up, my little baby, my four wood. So with hybrid going 230, um, 240, I'd expect this to be going like 250. I use this off the tee. If you've seen my latest videos, you'll know I've been using my four wood a lot. Not gonna lie. I'm at the top of the bag now, and I feel knackered, which is an indication I'm a very armsy swinging player, because you shouldn't be, I tell you. That's better, forward. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Look, the distance is right, okay? It's normally 250. And this could go anywhere, because like I said, the minute I'm working on driver. Please be good. Please be good. This is why I'm not hitting driver at the minute. In fact, I'm just gonna whack it. 
Go on. There you go, you just whack it, man, guys. 260 carry, 290 total, seven yards right. There we go. Now, let's have a look at the numbers. Right, so nice and quick, just gonna talk you through kind of what is going on there. So this, as you can see, that's my um, 60 degree, and you want these to kind of be just nicely overlapping. If you haven't got it overlap, then obviously you've got a problem because you're not gonna have a club for that yardage. But as you can see, my 60, so let's go through them, and each different color, obviously all the way up. <laughs> as you can see, the circles get bigger and bigger, which isn't the worst, but to be fair, it's not too bad. Driver, is that driver? Forward a bit all over. Oh, I didn't change it to driver. So some of them pink ones are driver. Right, so let's go for the totals. Obviously in my head, I take into account my carry and my total. If it's wet, if it's winter, obviously you want to be looking at landing the ball on your carry because it's not going to travel anywhere. But in summer, if there's water, you're going over somewhere, the ball's going to roll out. Obviously you want to look at your total because this is me hitting in good conditions, not in a boggy storm in England. So look at the total. Uh, 90 yards is 60 degree, 56 is 100, 115, 130, pitching wedge 140, 9 iron is same 160, but realistically it's about 150. That's just a couple of very, very well hit strokes. 68 iron, once, like say 170, uh, 175, 7 iron is normally 185, again, hit a few good shots there. 6 iron, 200 mark, which is what I normally hit. 5 iron, you're jumping up to like the 220 mark. 3 hybrid, 245. Forward, um, 270, I would, that's because obviously my driver's in there as well. Forward was about 246, which makes sense. And my driver's obviously that 290 shot, which is the one up here. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I've got a club every kind of, every kind of 10 yards, 10, 15 max, which is what you want to have. But now when I play golf and someone says, the pin's 150, in my head, I know straight away, right, pin's at 150, it's wet, it's going to go nowhere. I'm going to hit a 9 iron, I'm going to land it at 155-ish, 150, bang, done. If it's a longer shot, it's 170. I think in my head, right, go back to my yardages, right, I'm going to hit an 8 iron here. If it's warm or cold, I've got my numbers. You need to know how far you hit each club. That is how far I hit my clubs. I'll see you next time.